Every day is gay day when you're Presley But on the channel gay day only happens once per week Hey everyone, it's Presley at Games.com here And today I'm going to be talking a little bit about the controversy surrounding RuPaul So this happened a while ago, but it's been brought into light again with RuPaul's DragCon starting very, or I think it's actually going on right now when I'm filming this video. So what I'm going to be talking about is some of the things RuPaul has said in the past that are very transphobic and why they're transphobic. So the first thing I'm going to start with is something that a lot of people are riled up about now, and that is something said very recently. Basically, RuPaul said that RuPaul only wants uh, men participating in RuPaul's Drag Race, which is sort of a weird stance to take because there are a lot of women and otherwise non-men people who are drag queens, but it's not necessarily a morally bad position to take, just sort of in a little bit of an excluding one. And that's not what people were mad about because then RuPaul said that basically he would not accept a medically transitioning or medically transitioned woman on his show, meaning that no women who are taking HRT, no women who have had off, no women who have medically transitioned in any way, which is weird. Um, so that is basically saying that any woman who is pre-medical transition or doesn't want to medically transition is not a woman which is absolutely fake and not real because all women are women like it's a weird it's a really awful position to take so it's really simple why that's not good because women are women and so there are tons of people who uh, of women who don't want to medically transition if medically transitioning is medical transition is a thing is a term that's used very very loosely in this video and it's only because rupaul has said it i don't really understand medical transitioning as well as a woman who has considered transitioning or is transitioning or has transitioned that's even a thing so i'm not going to talk a lot about it in this video but there are plenty of women who don't have access to transitioning and there are plenty of women who don't want to and are comfortable with their body the way it is and, or, and don't want to change it, or even women who just clearly don't want to change their bodies whatsoever. And there are women who were comfortable with their bodies before who decided to transition, and that's fine. It doesn't matter. These women are people, and some of them do drag race. And it's basically been said that in the drag community by many drag queens who have been responding to this statement that RuPaul's Drag Race is the only way to get big as a drag performer and it's the only way to make a name for yourself and to get your art out there which is really unfortunate i would i wish there were more people who were supporting drag queens who haven't been on the show and are supporting drag queens that don't want to be on the show and so and like this is not to exclude drag kings they're just not what this video is sort of about um so there's not a lot of support for people who aren't in on have been on RuPaul's Drag Race or are going to be on RuPaul's Drag Race. Another bit of controversy that I'm going to talk about is that RuPaul has allowed plenty of people who have had plastic surgery who still identify as men. In fact, a queen who I don't remember the name of unfortunately because I actually have, I haven't been keeping up with this kind of stuff has had all sorts of plastic surgery to alter his appearance to work better for drag. And like, I'm cool with that. Awesome. Do as you please. Good for you. If that makes you feel better in your body and if that makes your art easier to perform, then awesome. I, I fully support this person and I fully support the plastic surgery that they have had. And um, he has had. I'm pretty sure he identifies as a male, but I'm not going to say for sure. Uh, I support the way that they look. Um, but I'm pretty sure he identifies as male, but he's still allowed on the show while a trans woman who has had, um, who has HRT or who has up, who has had surgery of some kind will not be allowed on the show, which is also very controversial. And RuPaul basically likened HRT and, um, operation to performance enhancing drugs, which yet again, going back to the plastic surgery thing, why would someone who has had extensive plastic surgery be allowed on the show if what this trans woman who's had a surgery of some kind that's kind of plastic surgery or has HRT not be allowed on the show? And this 
Another thing that I am going to point out in this video that a lot of people actually haven't mentioned is that RuPaul has gotten in trouble. Back in like 2014-ish, RuPaul got in trouble for using all sorts of transphobic slurs, including, um, I'm not gonna say them on this channel, but including the T slur and the S slur. It's disgusting, and those slurs should never be used around people, and it was a different social climate back then. But RuPaul hasn't really said anything about it, and so that's sort of my problem. And so this is just a short video informing people of what RuPaul has done. It's up to you whether you support RuPaul or not. I don't, personally. But it's up to you whether you will continue, continue to watch the show. Please give your support to trans plus, um, trans plus drag queen people. Give your support to non-binary drag people. Give your support to trans women who do drag. Give your support to these people and give your support to people who have already been on the show who have called out RuPaul and have sacrificed their drag careers to say, lash out something against the big drag performer. And so I personally would love if all of you guys just sort of did something about this, um, supported trans women, like I said, support trans women who are in drag races, support trans women who are doing drag outside of RuPaul's Drag Race and that don't want to do RuPaul's Drag Race or don't have the option to, support these people because they're real people out there and drag is an art form that a lot of people want to do and that a lot of people feel is their best art form. And it's not hurting anybody and the way they identify isn't hurting anybody, so I don't see why you would be mad at them or exclude them. And I think I want to support this. I want to support artists, and I want to support what they're doing with their work, and I want to support uniqueness. And when people find the best way to tell a story or to convey anything that they want to, whether that is drawing or writing or poetry, or like whether, whatever it is, including drag and makeup artists, then those people deserve to be supported. And so this is not just sort of saying what RuPaul has done wrong and why you should not support RuPaul. This is sort of calling to protect other um, drag, other people who participate in drag and supporting their art forms because it truly is a beautiful art form and it truly is something that people really do love to do. And so you should support these kinds of people. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to press the subscribe button down below to see more videos like this and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Uh -huh.